How to accessorize as a man and up your style for your dating game. So about five years ago, I looked like a, you know like a typical dad. I was working a corporate job, and uh, you know just my style was pretty much standard, just like everybody else's had the the buzz cut and uh, you know the polo and the you know the slacks and all that kind of a thing. And uh, it was really just like a boring way to look. So after my divorce, as I was starting to get into dating as an adult, I decided it was time to up my style just a little bit. Believe it or not, when you start pushing the envelope in, in terms of the way you, the, that you look, like, for example, you go get a new haircut, and everybody's like, oh, you got a new haircut. That looks weird. Whatever. People start to test you on these little experiments that you do with your style. Matter of fact, the girl I was dating at the time actually broke up with me because she uh, decided to give me hell over me getting my ears pierced as a guy, you know, in my 30s or whatever. And believe it or not, another girl that I sent a selfie to actually threatened to not show up to the date if I was wearing earrings. So obviously it didn't end there because I've got several earrings and I've got a bunch of necklaces on and some weird shades and I grew my hair out and all that kind of a thing. And so being in this place five years down the line after experimenting with style and accessorizing, I can tell you a few tips. So the first thing is do one thing at a time. So, you know, I started with, you know, some ear piercings and then I moved on and I got started wearing bracelets because I noticed that girls like to reach over and like play with the bracelet on the date, which starts the physical touch. The biggest thing about doing one thing at a time is that it gives you time to feel congruent and comfortable with that new change that you just made. And anytime that you do a change, you really want to do it like in the beginning of the week. So that way it gives you all week to start to like feel comfortable with it. So that way, you know, when that weekend comes and you're going on a date, you're not feeling all subconsciously nervous about the thing that it is that you just changed. Tip number two, emulate people that have cool things about them that you like. So for example, um, I hosted a retreat last August and one of the guys that came out to my retreat had uh, double earrings in. So I noticed that, I was like, you know what? I like that, I'm gonna get my ears pierced again. So I copied that, right? Another uh, pickup artist that I've hung out with in Atlanta, um, he's got this uh, almost like Rasta style with his hair. Um, but, he, but one thing he does that I really, really liked is that he weared multiple necklaces. So back in the past, I would wear one necklace and um, after I saw his style, I actually decided to wear multiple necklaces because I liked it. I copied it. And even the hair, uh, there was a guy that I went to jujitsu with that had, you know, like the uh, almost like the short on the sides, like long in the back kind of thing, like uh, almost like a Vikings inspired haircut. I saw that. I was like, you know what? That's cool. I'm going to start growing out my hair. So I did it. So add in one thing at a time. Copy things that you see that you like. And the last tip is wear this stuff at work as well. If you're not the same person at work as you are at home, you're going to feel weird. You're going to feel incongruent. So you really want to stretch yourself and start to become comfortable in every environment. You might say to me, Benny, well, I can't wear that at work. I bet you that you can because I had a very high profile corporate job as well. And when you do it, it really makes you feel awesome. Like this video and follow me for more dating advice.